Oh, hi. <laughs> I didn't see you there. Are you the guy who's here to interview me about my new senior pastor role at this church? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, great. Just come with me, yeah. Caught me at a good time. I was just showing some uh, employees, uh, staff members, how to do some of their job, you know, leading by example. It's something us pastors do, right? So here's my office. Come on in. Yeah. Have a seat, yeah. Uh, notice my Calvin Seminary mug. Yeah, I stole that when I almost graduated. Thank goodness for that whole ordained minister thing, eh? I love me a good loophole. Pastor Brad's a fantastic pastor. Um, honestly, I want to say he was the, the worst one. Be hands up at 10 and 2. If you're not up, you're not worshiping Jesus. It's the best part right here. Freebird! He, he was the kind of monster. Hi. Pastor, yes. A plus Hi. sermon today. You're oh. such a blessing. Oh, thank you for joining our community. It's so nice to see you thank for the you. first time. Thank you. Yes, maybe next week dress up a little more. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. I should let you guys know that at the last congregational meeting, we decided that we were going to have children at the Lord's Supper. That won't be starting today, though, because we have to build a shorter table first. To be a good pastor, you got to be an early bird and a night owl. So I'm really wise and I have worms. Here's my top four. Joel Osteen, Benny Hinn, Franklin Graham, Pastor Brett. I know that this is a big topic and I know this is going to maybe upset some people, but I want to talk about election today. I think it's important that everybody votes. We all got to vote. Sometimes I get an idea and it's like just in my head and I'm like, stop, I got to write a sermon. Like it's time. Even right now. I mean, my mind is going at like a mile an hour right now. Is a mile an hour fast? I'm from Canada. We use kilometers. I wonder if the road to Damascus is anything like the Beltline. That thing is a mess. There's massive potholes in the Beltline. Did you know that? If anyone's looking for a two bedroom, three bathroom apartment, there's a pothole available by Fuller Ave. I just want to say more one, but I don't know how to express it in English. So I, please let me speak it in Korean. So as a pastor, there has to be more to your life. So I have hobbies. One thing I like to do is juggle. Do it all the time. And it's kind of a good analogy for ministry, really. Like, let's say you take this ball here. It could be your preaching. And this ball here could be your public image to the church. Then, of course, you might have another one like this that's bigger, and it's your prayer life. But uh, I'm not that good at juggling yet, so I really just stick with these two. Hey, Brad, I waited around just to let you know that your sermon was a joke. Didn't appreciate it. Just quit. <laughs> Classic Tom, everybody. Good to see you, buddy. Do I have faults? Yeah, of course, like anybody else. I mean, I sing in the shower. Sometimes I volunteer too much of my time. Occasionally, I hit people with my car. In Chinese, Wang Batan. He's a king. He's Sometimes I drop a baby during the baptism. So sue me. Oh, hey, I'm not a Gnostic. Got to involve the body. Would I rather be feared or loved? Both. I want people to be afraid of how much they love me. <laughs> 